Hello, Internet. This is Cliff. Recently, I bought this equal disc brake. This product is quite impressive. This is the best mechanical disc brake I have tried so far, and I have tried quite a few. Let me compare this one with others for you. Say, most high-end road bikes come with disc brake like this. These are hydraulic disc brakes. They are all your reservoirs inside the shifter. When you press here, it pushes the oil downwards. The caliper inside will then clamp the disc to stop the wheel. The stopping power is very powerful. But if you buy an entry-level bike, it usually comes with a disc brake like this one. It uses the traditional brake cable to pull the calipers. It is as simple as that. The most basic one operates on only one side. Better ones have movement on both sides, but in my experience, all of them are not so powerful. In my test, when I was braking at a speed of 18 miles per hour, the average stopping distance with this mechanical disc brake is about 32 feet. Using this Mavic alloy wheelset with rim brake calipers, when brake at the speed of 18 miles per hour, the average stopping distance I tried is about 22 feet. This means that traditional rim brakes are actually stronger than simple mechanic disc brakes. Then I tried this hybrid disc caliper. When you pull the cable, the oil inside pushes the calipers in. This is much more powerful than purely mechanical ones. Based on my testing, at a speed of 18, the average stopping distance is about 22. It is equivalent to a high-quality rim brake on alloy wheelset. Performance-wise, it is more than sufficient. Its strength is about equal to aluminium rim brakes. And then I bought this equal brake. I guess this name means it's equal to a hydraulic disc brakes. So I try to find out how powerful hydraulic discs are, but not very successful. It is simply too powerful. So I try to brake at 90% of its power. At speed of 18, the average stopping distance was about 11 and a half feet. Very powerful indeed. This equal disc brake, when I test it, it is not as powerful as hydraulic disc brakes. It feels strong on my daily use, but in the testing, it takes longer distance to stop than I imagined. After trying a few times, the average turned out to be about 22 feet. So it is equal to rim brake and June take. However, I still think this product is very nice, because it feels nice almost like hydraulic disc brakes. The standard Shimano hydraulic disc brakes feels light when being pressed, and it gets harder around this section. Feels very intuitive. Most mechanical ones I have tried feels a little bit heavy. Its rebound speed also feels somewhat delayed, but this Eco feels light, and its modulation feels like hydraulic ones. Feels very premium. The weight is interesting too. Comparing to a standard Shimano hydraulic caliper, their weight is about the same. Hydraulic caliper even slightly lighter. But the interesting part is with the shifters. Hydraulic ones weigh much more than mechanical ones. The left and right together is 240 grams lighter. If paired with this, it gets even more extreme. As you can see, just one side is 180 grams lighter. Both sides together will be 360 grams lighter. 360 grams is a lot, right? Some downside of this product as well. Firstly, it's very picky about cables. It requires its own very stiff cables. I tried regular cables before, it just wouldn't work. The stiff cable is very hard to route through the bike like this. However, strangely enough, Juntech works fine with softer cables. 
Also, its tolerance is very small. The black pads need to be so close to the disc in order to feel good when break. You have to install it very precisely. The gap opens need to be very narrow. If your parts are not perfect, it will take a long time to make it right. Also, this thing is not cheap either. In fact, it's more expensive than some hydraulic disc brakes. So buying hydraulic ones makes more sense, I guess. And this generation of Shimano hydraulic brakes is really great. Easy to install, easy to adjust. Simply put, they are awesome. As for this equal disc brake, it's more like if you don't intend to buy a new group set and you want to use your old rim brake group for disc frame, then I think Eco and Juntek are both pretty good choices. Alright, thank you very much for watching. Please like and subscribe. Bye bye.